a pencil, a tape measure, junior hacksaw and 20mm bending spring are the tools required for this installation. The conduit will be installed from the first two-way to the intermediate to the final two-way and from the first two-way to the light incorporating a 90 degree bend. To install a length of conduit we need to allow for the two female couplings between the two accessories here as shown so that we can measure the distance between these two couplers to their internal stop positions. This measurement can then be transferred to a measurement on our length of 20mm PVC conduit, as shown here. This can now be cut to the desired length, as shown. The rough edges can be removed by hand or if this proves to be difficult we can use a reaming tool as shown in the video. We can now install the conduit between our two accessories. Having removed one coupling and fitted it to the end of the piece of conduit we can now insert it into the other and then using a 20mm bush we can tighten the coupling to the accessory as shown. We now need to form the 90 degree bend. Place the bending spring into the conduit to the point of bending. Note this has been predetermined by attaching a wire to the spring and the conduit is now warmed by friction at the bending point to help the bending process. The wire allows the bending spring to reach the bending point. This is held onto by the installer so that no kinks appear in the conduit due to the possibility of the spring's incorrect positioning. The installer overbends the conduit to approximately 180 degrees to get a 90 degree bend. Notice that the conduit try to actually return to the original position hence the reason for overbending. This can now be placed in the installation and marked for cutting to the correct length. Notice the measurement is made to the internal stop points of the couplings. Once it is cut to the correct length, it can be installed, as shown, leveled, and marked for conduit saddle fixings by marking either side of the conduit. This is a spacer bar saddle. Notice the two lines from the edges of the conduits that were marked earlier. By fixing to the middle of these, it will be the middle of the conduit. The 
The type of saddle here shown allows for minor adjustments to be made should that be necessary. The conduit can now be refitted and finally fixed into place with the saddle after final checking by a spirit level and glued into the coupling points if required. The circuit can now be wired. We need a line from the 6 amp breaker, a neutral from the neutral bar, a CPC from the CPC or earth terminal. The line is wired to the last two-way switch through the conduit. Then it returns via the strappers L1 and L2 to the intermediate through the intermediate to the first two-way switch and then via the common link in the two-way switch to the light. Here we see a draw wire that is in the conduit that goes to the light and we tape these three connections, the line, the neutral and the CPC, to the draw wire. By taping tightly to the draw wire, it ensures that the cables cannot pull off when being pulled from the point of drawing, which in this case is the light as shown. This is important particularly on longer conduit runs. All cables should be drawn in together to ensure that no damage occurs to the insulation when drawing cable over the top of cable. The draw wire can now be removed and we can now connect up all the accessories. Here we now see that the feed comes into the one point, then via the strappers it goes to the intermediate, and then from the intermediate it's connected to the first two-way, and the first two-way from the common connection it goes all the way to the L position of the lamp holder.